رسول الله is saying Ali is with the truth. He is not saying Ali is truth. What does it mean? Because you will say no. Rasulullah should have said Ali yun huwa al haq. But why Rasulullah is saying Ali yun ma al haq? I said before we understand that go to Quran again. So many areas in Quran when Allah talks about two things which are of great importance. He wouldn't say it is. He will say with it. Example Surah Al-Jinn. When he talks of Quran, Allah is not saying Quran who will huda. He said Yahdi ila Rashid. Quran a guide to the straight path. He's not saying Quran is guide itself. Same way you find other ayah of Quran. Afaman yahdi ila al-haq. Ahaq an yutaba. Amma la yahiddi illa an yuhda. The one who guide to haq, does he deserve to be followed? Or the one who does not guide? So yeah, my point is that whenever Allah talks of two important things or personalities, most cases he will not say it is. He will say with it or it guides to it. Now when Rasulullah say Ali is with truth and he's not saying Ali is truth. Many people ask question. But Ali has Isma to the Mutlaka. Ali has got absolute Isma. I said, I don't have a problem with that. Ali indeed has got absolute Isma. But when Rasulullah say truth is with Ali and not saying Ali with truth, Ali is truth. You know what he's trying to say? He's trying to say we have two forms of truths. We have a Hakkaniya Dhatiya, we have a Hakkaniya Iktisabiya. We have a truth by essence. And you have obtainable truths. Truth by essence is no one and no one except Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala. Allah is a haq by essence. And there is no one who can come next to Allah. That is why the Quran says, Thalika bi anna Allah huwa la haq. That Allah, He is the haq. No one is a haq except Allah subhanahu One ayah said, Bakr 147, Allah haqqu min rabbik fala takun min al mumtareen. So now the second one is obtainable haq. This is what Rasulullah is talking about in this riwayah. What is obtainable haq? Obtainable haq is that you get your haq from Allah. Meaning you are manifestation of Allah's haq. So when Rasulullah said Ali is with the truth and truth is with Ali. He's trying to say Ali is the manifestation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Ali's haq is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now. To become Allah's manifestation, brothers and sisters, you need to go through two, two four journeys. These four journeys, which you know, Mullah Sadra explained beautifully. Imam Amir al Mu'minin achieved them with additions. Anyone who wants to become really divine manifestation, you have to go through four journeys. It's called Asfarul Arab. First journey is from the creation to the truth. Min al khalki ila al haq. It's a journey. What does this journey mean? It simply means when you find yourself in the midst of people, since you are connected with Allah, no matter what the situation, it will not divert you from Allah. That is a journey from creation to the truth. Like you live in a community, you live in a family, or at a workplace, and there are so many problems and issues. Wallahi, if you embark on a journey from multiplicity, from abundance to one, you don't care. Amir al muminin implemented that on the day of Sifin. That is why Ali is with Haq. 
On the day of Sifin, Amir al-Mu'mineen engrossed in Salah. He was making ibadah and people were throwing arrows towards Ali. But for a second, Ali did not shake. Hence, he deserved to be manifestation of the Hakk of Allah. Second journey dimension, Fil Hakki Bil Hakki. In the truths by the truths. It's a top journey of great scholars and awliya Allah. What does it mean in the truth by the truths? It simply means ta'amul fi wahdaniyat Allah. Is to reflect in the oneness and the kingdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here you find Amir al muminin You look at how he reflected on the wahdaniyah of Allah azza wa ta'ala. Amir al muminin said, Bika araftuk wa anta dalaltani ilayk wa da'awtani alayk wa lawlaka lama adrima anta. Amir al muminin said, Ya Allah, after my reflection and pondering, I then know you through you. And you are the one who showed me your way and invited me to it. Ya Allah, if it wasn't because of you, I was going to not know you. And the same way in Dua is Sabah, which is recommended for us to recite, this Dua is from Imam Amir. Ya man dalla ala zatihi bivati. Or the one whose essence indicates his essence. Allah doesn't have essence. Allah's existence is essence and his essence is essence. So Ali did a journey in truth by the truth. Hence Rasulullah said, Ali yun ma al haq wa al haqqo ma Ali. Third journey. Min al khalki il al haq. Opposite the first one. From the truth to the creation. Amir al Mu'minin's ibadah never diverted him from his social responsibility. Today you find a person busy with social things, you forget Allah, no salah. You find people, salah, no social responsibility. Huh? This is a journey from truth to the creation. Imam Amir al Mu'minin, no matter how he engrossed, in his munajat, in his love for Allah, he never forsook his social responsibility. That is why he combined together at the same time worship of Allah and reaching out to people to inform us that no matter how strong you are in your spirituality or social work, you will need to come back to Allah and you need to go back to people. And Amir gave that ring, which we all know. How did he do that? In Salah, giving it is something, it's a lesson. Tells us that social responsibility and spirituality complement each other. Today you find people that said we serve community, but Salah zero. There are people, Salah community work zero. Where do you draw the line? Jenny. From creation or from Hak to the creation. And the last, which is the fourth journey, is what? It is journey in creation by the truth. Fil khalki bil haq. Now you are in people, but your journey is decided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What does it mean? It simply means you don't become selfish. Imam Amir wasn't a selfish personality. Imam always thought of others. Imam always reach out to others. So when Rasulullah comes forward and tells us, Ali is with the truth and truth is with Ali. Meaning, Wallah, whoever wants to go to Allah as truth, just go to the door of Ali and you will get to the truth. Now lastly, it's a question to all of us. Do we leave Ali? Oh no, we make Ali just a symbol. We get excited when it's been mentioned, and that's it. Is Ali in our lives? It's the question. Oh no, 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 no. It's just that when Ali is been mentioned, we get excited, we chant praise of Allah, which is good. Don't get me wrong. But is that the aim? Is that the essence? Law. The essence is to see Ali's color in your life. 
That is the essence. If Ali is not, if the knowledge of Ali is not seen in you, and the taqwa of Ali is not seen in you, and the patience of Ali is not seen in you, and the smartness of Ali is not seen in you, and Allah's love of Ali is not seen in you, and Ali's approach is not seen in you, how do you claim to be a Shia of Ali? The essence of this celebration is to take that color from Ali and dye and change your color with the color of Ali. That is the essence of following Amir al muminin All that we've just mentioned are okay. But is Ali just a rams to us? Or no, is someone that I live my life according to his life?